What is up guys, it's boy Raven here today with another fantastic deck. Today we take Frostmoth, we take Water and we just wash everyone away with this amazing deck. So again, Frostmoth is the brand new card. Again, this is going to be a leak challenge promo. That was a pre-release promo and of course this is a regular rare. And why this card is really nice? Why it's so important for water type decks? Well, because the ice dance. So as often as you like, you can actually attach energy from your hand to one of your benched water type Pokemons, which means if your hand is like 12 energy, you can already attach it. But well, Raven, I don't want to have 12 energy on only one Pokemon. Well, don't worry about it, because that's that's when this little boy comes into play, which is Quagsire with a washout that you can distribute to your active Pokemon, right? You can distribute a little bit the way you would like to, and this is quite nice. And of course, you know, from Frostmoth, you don't have to put all the energy on one Mon, you can distribute it really even on all your bench as long as those are water type pokemons so what is the main attacker here well for this deck i've chose blasters and piplup the pips toys with a splash maker and i knew he's like but raven you should put the energy after the attack but i'm like yes but the whole idea of this deck right now and i'll show you the games is to get those three energies as fast as possible. So you don't want to go first, you want to evolve into Frostmoth, you want to get that Quagsire, you put that energy thanks to Frostmoth, put it to, from a Quagsire to a Splash Ma with a Splash Maker, and if you're lucky enough, you can even turn one use Bubble Launcher with six energy. But also, if you have one active Pips Toys, one benched, you can have turn three, turn two, three on an active, three on a benched one, so you can thrill, freely switch between them and actually have a really nice attacker, and then you finish it off, of course, with the Magilord, right? That needs eight energy, and this is, you know, the build-up always towards the Magilord for his GX, that people don't really expect to. So let's just take a look at the deck from left to right, from bottom to up, and let's see how it goes. So it does play 14 Pokemon and we have two Pips Toises, one Magilord, we got a line of 3-3 three, three, Sir Nom and a Frostmouth, one Volcanion, of course for the Sauna Blast and for the ability of Jet Gazer that actually your opponent switch. I mean it's Fiony kind of deal, but you do discard the energy. And of course a line of 2-2 two, two, Quagsire. Something that people also forgot about is that Quagsire can attack and if you have three water type energies on it for a hydro pump it's 120 damage but you can always get even more thanks to of course frost moth right if you have a lot of that energy in a hand and you'll get a lot of it miss missy and lorelei for example right gives you three and you can actually refresh your gx as well thanks to missy and lorelei so now let's take a look at 34 trainer cards in this deck which are three acrobikes we got one really nice energy recycler with three of course uh, evolution incenses that are bringing you to Frostmoth and a Quagsire. Then we have two Great Balls, we got a nice uh, Ordinary Ross, two copies of. Of course the Great Balls are just in case you would not draw into Evolution Incense and you want to try to get yourself to uh, Frostmoth or a Quagsire. Then we have three Pokegears 3.0 with three Quick Balls really crucial quick balls but four is a little bit too much one switch raft here we can play a little bit more but i do like this one switch raft one brock's grit two cynthia's two cynthia and caitlin's two mallow and lana's two mods i know it's a little bit support to heavy but it's really worth it right we got two missy and lorelei three professor's research and of course two buff paddings that we want to put right over here on the Magilord to make it even buffier, right? To make him even, even bigger. And 12 energy, right? So that is like the core of this deck. Well, the idea is quite simple. You really do want to get yourself to this uh, nice splash maker. Keep on attacking, keep on switching. And after like a few turns, you will see that interaction between Frostmoth, Quagsire and other Pokemons is so fluent that you will want to play um, even more water type decks. And that is amazing and that is fantastic. So now we're going to move to the games, right to the game part. Uh, of course, the games are from stream, so you can go to twitch.com slash Ravencold And of course, let's not forget that we will have a 5% discount any code with purchase on Professor Oak. 
and you can always go to TCG Player uh, with the link down there below and purchase or join the channel and do some more stuff. So yeah, let's move to the games, shall we? Your, 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 um, we do love your uh, reset stamp. Let me tell you, we do love your French reset stamp just because of the name. <laughs> I mean, like the name is amazing. All right, so this is the match that we should win, right? With this deck, let's make you know Rama proud. He's not here, but let's make him proud. We should win that matchup. What's the name of Reset Stamp in French? Tampon. That's that's the name in French. So yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Precisely that. Right, so Let's see if we can actually pull this off here. Oh, this is okay. This looks good. And we got, oh, this oh yes. I mean, hello. Reset stamp. Reset stamp is an item card that says your opponent shuffles their hand and draws the same amount of cards uh, equal to their prize cards. Don't have anxiety. I have a lot of uh, stuff to get. Oh really? I mean, you know, whatever happens, you know, you, you know, you can always, you always have your place here, and you can always talk to us. Whatever happens, honestly. Okay, um, like that. Done. I mean, I have a professor research for the next turn, so I should be okay. Yeah, no problem, Shadow. No problem. Happy to explain the cards. You have it in this deck. Uh, I do believe I have one copy in this deck. <laughs> no worry. Uh, show is to shadow if you can't, please. I mean, if I have it, right? I will show it, but if, if I have it in this deck, I believe I have. But it also has to be, you know, like, a reason to play it. I mean, like, showing it to, to, to you guys, it's definitely a reason, but, uh, I mean, in terms of, 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 of uh, like, situation on board. Yeah, so it is, it is to just, you know, charge Pipstot as fast as possible and start attacking for 150. Because then we use Miss and Lord Lay and we can heal. Alright, Fairy Flint and Custom Catcher. That is interesting. So I do think he wants to knock out Snum. Or something like that. Or just prepare. Okay. But I feel like knocking out Snum. Alright, that was just a passing turn. Great. So we get an energy and Professor's research. So fresh seven cards. That gave me nothing. Alright, I'll save Caitlin. So I'm gonna go Magic Lord. Buff padding on Magic Lord. Yeah, exactly, right? Um, so I'll pass the turn. It's so like right now, you know, getting quick sight is also crucial because, like, in this matchup, I can get myself to the Super Splash or the Towering Splash GX and later on, right? Now, if Magic Lord having 340 HP. That's really nice. Like, it's pretty solid. Alright, Megalupani, Guzman Hala. And even if he's gonna use Custom Catcher to put something front, 
I should be okay. I mean, I do have a switch raft, so. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Ooh, heat factor era. He is really digging for it. He's really digging for it and an outrage. Okay. This is uh, research. Seven fresh cards. Alright. Incense. So we're gonna grab Quagsire. There we go. So I have actually right now two ways of putting uh, putting all of those those cards. But I feel like I've won. Uh, yeah, because it deals 100 uh, more damage, right? Yeah, so we've won. So look at that. That's why I, I do like this, because now I can do like 250 damage, right? So I can play it on Quagsire. It's all good. Use my GX and... Oh, no. I can't really knock him out, because there's uh, weakness guard energy. Okay. Huh. But I can paralyze him. I mean, I know how risky this is, but you know what? Sometimes you do what you gotta do, right? Bubble launcher. I mean, I forgot about weakness guard energy. I get really hyped on that. But like he has to find uh, something right now. He has to get. I feel like he has the switch. But it's just right now a matter of. Him having a baby card or basic in general. Grace exploration, okay, so he might go for that switch. Okay. Mixed herbs, sure. Two fifty. Yeah, he has a knockout. Ah, oh, freaking mixed herbs. Oh, okay. On the quack sire. Noctal is the uh, cheesiest deck ever. Really? I mean, he had a knockout on the Pips Toys. I don't know why he decided not to go for it. And Marnie. So he's gonna put his deck, like his hand at the bottom of his deck. So money. Okay. Let me count that. Sixty. Around twenty hundred eighty-two forty. Hmm. Oh, just splash my cup. I mean, he needs energy here. I mean, I know he can play actually welder, but I hope like you know, uh, that Marnie disrupted his hand really good. So I really I'm counting on the Marnius disruption.
All right, so there we go. That's a reset stamp. <laughs> you wanted to see a reset stamp? That is the reset stamp. That is the card, Shadow. That is exactly the card. All right, we got a switch. Alright, I, th I think, you know, uh, right now we're closer to the W. Thanks to your opponent. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Alright, he has a fire crystal. I have some Malone Lanas. But I know, you see, hmm. I know I have to heal this one to not get knocked out, so I have to put the energy here from a splash maker. Because that's a heal. Alright, and if he's gonna, you know, like, paralyze my... Oh, okay, he can put my active uh, asleep, alright. I mean, if I was gonna go right, I'm... I'm, like, 60% positive on the outcome. I really am. Like, they were, I really am. Because he can't play Reshazad. Oh. Oh, he did play it. Okay. That's Welder. Oh, so he doesn't have enough of energy to use Puffy Smashers. I mean, he can play one from hand and then he'll be able to do it. Oh, he's thinking about it. Yeah, we're gonna see Puffy Smashers. But I'm just asleep. Which, you know, works for me. Okay. I don't need Frostmouth. There's gonna be a lot of Acrobites now, uh, I would say. Alright, Energy Recycle. Okay, come on, we need Quagsire. Alright, Marnie. Ah, oh, you see, like, I can't really play that Marnie. So I missed Quagsire. I thought that Quagsire would attack this time with a Splash Maker. So that's just me going. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to start you know, retreating, you know, start playing with that a little bit. But I feel like, you know, uh, we can actually. I think about knocking out because. This is the mod that I'm the most scared of. Because he's not going to be you know, as silly to play Reshazad on the board so I can knock it out. I mean, he might be, he might do that. He might go Green's Expression for you know, two custom catchers and get a whooper. Right? He might try to, you know, put Magilord front 
Also a possibility. Yeah, so there you go. Custom catcher on Whooper. It has to be Whooper. But maybe Metal Lord to stall the game. I mean, that's also a possibility, but... I don't know if I would do that. Alright, so it's a Magilord to stall. Okay. And a jumping balloon. Alright. Fair enough. So switch. Alright, so we healed Magilord. Splash Maker. So I know he has no more custom catcher. He played them all. 150. He can deal 240 only right now, so... I mean, he might have his own Malone Lana right now that he's going to use. And if, you know, if there was ever a time for his Malone Lana, now it's the time, and it is. Okay. Great catcher. Oh, really? Magilord. <laughs> Magilord goes back. So what, switch and knock out on Magilord? What do you think? I, I think he might do it. Like, I know one of his uh, cards... Okay, yeah, that's a switch and knock out on Magilord. Alright. Not a bad turn. Okay, so I'm going to use Odinary Road. I'm going to shuffle. Eh, yeah, Whooper and Quagsire. Splash Maker. Because there's nothing else I can do. Uh, yeah, Raven, uh, wanted some trainers. Uh, can you check uh, if you have extras? A Metal Saucer? No extras. Quick Ball? Uh, might have Marnie. Maybe. Uh, Press of Race Search? No. Maybe Marnie. Like, that's what I can tell you. Quick ball, I might, but I, uh, I, I don't think so. Uh, Metal Saucer, definitely not. I definitely don't have Metal Saucer. I do have like only three, I believe. Alright, so he's going here. So I have two options now. Either I'm gonna draw energy or a Quagsire. What if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna draw one of those, or a switch. If I'm gonna draw one of those three cards, I win. If not, I lose. I mean, Marnie or Pistol Research, you know, anything like that also helps. Okay, Green Sex Pistol. He's going down to five cards. Oh no, he's. Oh, wait, no, he's doing 100 and. 80, all right, Shrine of Punishment, Lysander Lab. That's some energy on Waylord. <laughs> 180, okay, come on. What are we gonna draw? Cynthia, all right, this has to be. There we go. 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 With the victory we go. The deck finally is listening to me, so I'm really happy about that. And we'll see where this is gonna go. So yeah, we've won, and of course I'm going first. Because I do have to set it up. Okay, so we're gonna start with Pip's Toy. So again, the setup would be getting a... Snom, Frostmove, right, as fast as possible, into Quagsire. Just getting all the pieces I need. As fast as possible, so... That's a Snom. Energy, of course, on the active, and passing the turn. Because there's no point in playing Quagsire right now, since I can't play any supporter whatsoever. So that's why I'm using Frostmove in this deck, you know, to just... Have it with Quagsire and just put all that energy a little bit faster on, on my mods. But yeah, like if it's gonna go with Tag Purge, that might be a problem. <laughs> right? Okay, so we got a Quagsire, but I have to play Pokegear 
Okay. Research. Well, I can bring back those mods. We, we've got rod, so let's see. Okay, that's a frost move. Acrobike. Alright, let's play it on incense. Whooper. Yes, yeah, so like if only we got this, you know, quicks a bit faster, or maybe you no. Know, I mean, I, I still think this is a quite fast turn. And the fact that I can have, you know, already that energy on the Pips toys, I, I, I do like that. I do like that speed. But it has to be faster than Attack Purge, because once Attack Purge hits. Well, then this means I'm gonna have to use uh, Quagsire as an attacker. Right? Okay, what he discarded? Megalupony and a Charizard, okay. Incense, of course. So, Incense, uh, Quagsire drawing three cards. Come on. And I am, oh no, I'm just bringing it back. Yeah, because if I would discard, then I would. Yeah, never mind. Uh, Quagsire. So I got to research for next turn. Not bad. And then I can paralyze him next turn. And I buy uh, from a discount code for. Okay, does that mean you get uh, earn money or just store credit for codes? Uh, this means I get a percentage of it that I can redeem on either codes or I can just get it on my PayPal account. So what happened uh, is uh, I gave you the team code on sword and uh, shield, but then I traded my Galisa pod, so I can't use the team now. But uh, the code is in use it's in my own rental code. <laughs> wow, really? Hey, how's it going, Gigi? How are you doing, my friend? How's it going, Nori? Wow, dude, like this... <laughs> like, only you could have done something like that. <laughs> only you, man. Only you. Um... Okay, let's see. Alright, so now Frostmoth on uh, Blastoise. I mean, I like that deck. So this is a Frostmoth Quagsire Blastoise deck, and I love it. I maybe know this is not the fastest deck in the world. But it's really nice. Uh, why don't you uh, marry it? Because uh, Kovac would be mad. <laughs> so how's it going, Nori? How are you doing today? Yeah, so, uh, and we don't want, you know, Kovac to be mad, right? We don't. I can tell you, we don't. Nice, I'm glad that you're fine, man. I'm glad that you're fine. Right, so let's take a look what he's gonna do. I'm doing great, thank you so much for asking, I'm doing really, really good. That's... Yeah, he can go for like 300 damage here. Of the G... No, he can't do that! Oh, hello! He already used the GX to put me to sleep. The class... Uh, <laughs> yeah, like nobody wants that. Exactly. Yeah, I, I think that's a GJ. Or at least then we have a knockout on the Mew 3 next turn. Okay, retreat. Alright, fair enough. Okay, missed in the lower lay. We're gonna search for three energies. Hmm. Oh, you and my students, oh, they're, they're doing great. Let me think. Um, 
And just a splash maker. I mean, if he wants to use attack purge on uh, the Mew 3, right? I can just use my own GX, paralyze him. I know only paralysis is gonna go through, but because he's gonna be paralyzed, he can't attack and during his another turn. And then this means that he can't actually use the attack purge, which are the top tier decks. Pikorama, ADP, uh, Zacian, Mew3, Malamar, and something else I don't remember. Those are the, uh, the four for uh, T1s. Okay. This is kind of weird what he's doing, but alright, I can... Sure. Oh wait, can I... wait a second. Can I use Whaler GX right now? Huh. Because I feel like if I would use his GX attack, uh, I might have a double knockout, wait. Right, yeah, I can need eight. So you know when uh, they're going to put a ranked mode on Pokemon? No. There's no information about that at all. Unfortunately, right, so yeah, um, well, next turn, Ice Dance on our Magilord. So next turn is going to be Malo and Lana, Quagsire, and we've won. That's number one uh, on my wish list uh, for the game. Yeah, I mean, having a rank mode would be amazing. I would not win because oh, okay, there's 150, so I would have to hit for more than 100 damage. Okay, but you know, at least he sees this as a threat. And Malo and Lana, all right. <laughs> Guzman half for special energy. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed, right. I mean, you test for IRL tournaments, you know, and, well, you, you have to play IRL as well, right? Yeah, so he's gonna use Attack Purge. This turn. Oh, I do feel so, yeah. Or maybe not. Okay, I honestly thought he's gonna put that energy right. Really, Shadowverse? Why Shadowverse? Alright, yeah, I wanna go first, definitely. The only counter to Zashan ADP in standard. No, um, it struggles with Pikaram as well. I can tell you right now, if you have a player that knows how to play Pikaram quite well, Zashan has a lot of problems. If you if you don't know how to play against Pikaram as well, so you know, right now it's like you have to test a lot. I mean, a lot. Like, honestly, you do have to test a lot against uh, all of those decks. ADP Birds, uh, also, you know, it's like a quite interesting, interesting counter uh, to Zacian. Alright, what do we have here? Evolutionary Advantage, if you go second, uh, this Pokemon uh, can evolve during your first turn. Okay. I came up against uh, Zacian ADP, uh, ADP Anit. I mean, you just have to know how to play against it. And, you know, you just have to learn. I mean, here's the best of one scenario. So, best of one scenario is always tough, right? That gives you that much packs and money. Uh, 
Yeah, so so this is the thing, right? When you're playing against uh, ADP Zashan, you just have to learn how to play against it with your own deck. I can tell with Picarom, uh, for me it's a little, a little bit easier because I know I want to get rid of ADP as soon as possible, charge my Choo Choo, and then I have like a nice fair shot of it, right? And we played many games with Kovac um, throughout the last two weeks, and it's like f almost 50 50 matchup. Oh, really? Another snom? Really, another snom? Wow, snom. Rude. <laughs> I can't play items, right? Yeah. Right, this is an item lock deck. All right. Which I can see why it can be powerful right now, because there's a lot of items running around. Yeah, so I'm locked. Uh, I'm locked. I can't use any items whatsoever. So professor's research, and we're going. So it's like you know, I feel like Runtara can become an esport. Hey, thank you so much, Spider. Appreciate that. Uh, Guardian? No, it's not. No. It's not an auto win uh, with Guardian. You just don't play uh, ADP at all. Like, you utilize different strategy, and I can tell you that. Um, so, yeah, so from my experience, and we do have that, and we tested this uh, matchup. Not really, this is, uh, this is an auto loss. Uh, ability Amulet works on GXs. Zashan is not a GX, it's a V card, so Amulet is not working on the Zashan at all. Yeah. A lot of people miss that. A lot of people think that they do. Um, not really one shot. Or like from Zashan, yeah, like that's a one shot, yeah. Okay, um, Cynthia, because I do have to find it, this Quagsire. Ah, uh, if only, ha <laughs> oh, if only. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, from Doggo, yeah, exactly. But the thing is, you know, um, I feel like Runtara can become an eSport, like a really proper one. If they would work like more exciting, I won't say exciting graphics, but just you know, not mechanic, but uh, I think they would okay, no, differently. If they would not create the whole game hyper grindy, more cut, that's one thing, and the other is just you know, it's hyper grindy. Like, you have besides master rank, you have six tiers, right, or six ranks, and inside those six ranks. You do have four more tiers, so you have to go from six times four, 24 different ranks to actually get, get, get where we want to. Yeah, but you're not getting uh, kicked that far, you're getting kicked like five ranks. And from what I've read, they want to, you know, they want to kick you two whole ranks as well, so it's like eight tiers, right? Uh, that's not good at all. It reminds me of uh, the good old Alakazam. Really? It's like, this is my, my bit of a problem. Because, I mean, you know, when you're playing Hefson, you know, this uh, already established uh, eSport, right? So, wash out. Okay, let's see. I feel like I would have a knockout, but I'm not sure. And I hope so. You know what? I, I just, you know, want to... I don't want to take chances. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't think uh, anyone can touch us anytime soon. Well, that's happened to you, uh, wait. Does it also happen to you uh, that you guys when a deck always uh, get a freaking mirror match? Not really, not often. Is buff padding uh, worth the spot? Yes, for the Magic Lord. For the Magic Lord, it is worth a spot. Yes. There we go. Okay, so if I'm gonna play it correctly right now, if I'm gonna play it right, I might. Okay, no, he's gonna. Okay, he's gonna attack. So buff padding is not gonna work. I know. Well, that's true. Uh, that's also true in those terms, that I'm not facing a lot of mirrors. Um, there's a lot of Mew 3 Tree Venant as well running around. Uh, so I don't think anyone can touch Hearthstone anytime soon, uh, and that is sad. I mean, like, the problem with, with Hearthstone that I have, because, I mean, we've hit Master Rank there, or Legend Rank that, that uh, is there. My problem is that up front, if you want to you know, if you want to get somewhere, even at rank 25, you have to spend some money, right? Because in almost every rank you've got, you know, those like really, really hard hitting, uh, hard hitting guys. All right, that's the second one. Uh, so that is 30, 60, 90. Oh, easy. What's up? What's up, Izay? Okay, so I'm going to be back with the package. Right, we'll shout, of course, we're going to do it all. That's one. That's two. That's three. Okay, there we go. So I know this is gonna take a while. No, he hasn't seen that figure yet. Uh, that's why we haven't uploaded the figure anywhere with Kovac. Because she has the photos, she has the video, she has videos how she uh, painted it. But that's like the reason why we we, we uh, haven't actually... Uh, that we haven't actually showed it, him. And that's why we haven't uploaded it at all. Alright. I know where, where is he going with it. I do know that. So he can knock me out next turn. With that evil tile. And I don't like it. So, I mean, I can retreat. I mean, I have to retreat now. You're more uh, fire because you're hot, right? <laughs> da -da -da. All right, that's 40. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so... That's Brock's grid, so I'm bringing back all the energy. I mean, we're bringing it back. Okay. Come on. Um, I mean, I know I kind of have to withstand that. All right, that's disconnect. Frost move. Missed a lot of lay. Okay. 
Right, so I know... Oh, no, 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 done, 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 done. I'm not doing a washout. I'm doing <laughs> ice dance. Oh, that was close. Uh, so... I have, like, 90% chance of actually drawing the energy next turn. So, I would be able to go Mal and Lana. Because I do need one more energy. That's all I need to win that game. One energy. And him not having anything to switch the active. Like, my active. So... You are... You are a silly fun boy, don't worry about it. Okay, that's eight. Let me let me just check it out. Uh, seven extra more, alright. We still have the GX switch. And that's a GG. And that is a GG, ladies and gentlemen. That is a GG. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching that video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know the video is long, but it's water type, and water types are really cool. And again, thank you so much for watching this. You can join the channel uh, to support it. You can join the Patreon to support the channel if you want to. You can always subscribe. That's also helpful. And just watch the videos. Of course, if you want to participate in making of those decks, if you if you want to be the one that's in the video that's playing against me with those decks go to twitch.com slash ravencoldsnatchku I have my schedule down there which is Mondays 9 a.m. CT Tuesday Thursday Wednesday 11 a.m. CT and Friday 9 a.m. CT and we can create them together we can play and we can enjoy those fantastic that's the game of training card game online so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that goodbye and good night Raven loves you take care bye